Hey guys, Simply Betty here. So today, I'm really, really excited to be picking up a package at my local FedEx. This is a new little reptile of mine that I have been wanting for, gosh, how long now? Like probably six or eight months. And I finally just decided, you know what? It's time to get it. I'm breathing heavy. I'm very excited right now. <laughs> So look at my cool box right here. I'm so excited to open this and a little bit nervous because the little critter inside, I've seriously been waiting for for so long. Okay, let's open it. Can I see? What's in here? A lizard. A lizard, you're right. It's blue. Yeah, don't spoil it now. I don't have any scissors in here. Uh, let's see if I can just use my keys. Um, I'm not 100% sure why I'm so drawn to this species. Um, it kind of has a a bad reputation a little bit it's it's a feisty little lizard it's like this isn't a leopard gecko or a crusty which is a very cute nice little gecko that's easily handleable this is kind of a little monster or at least the species is known for being cute little monsters with very hard bites <laughs> but if you think about it some of my favorite animals are pretty feisty little animals I like betta fish, which are very feisty little animals. I like chihuahuas, another very feisty little animal. I wish I had something sharp, because these keys are not sharp. Do you need something sharp? Do you have anything sharp? No. No, dang it. Look, Mom, and I don't have any sharp things. All right, let's open this up. <gasps> Here she is. Hang on, it's my beautiful little toke gecko. Oh my goodness, there she is. Wow, look, she looks amazing. She looks amazing. You want to see Riley? Does she look sweet? Like mine. Um, I want to bring it home. Okay, we're going to go bring this guy home. I'm in the other cage with my friend. Oh no, it can't go in the cage with your crested gecko, baby. Why? Um, Because this gecko might eat him. Oh. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. Is that a crocodile? Sort of. It's the little crocodile of geckos. <gasps> Okay, so now that I've confirmed she looks fantastic, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put her back in the box and just close the box back up because I have a ways to drive home. Gorgeous. So I'm a little bit ridiculously excited right now. This Tokay Gecko is a beautiful patternless blue and I love her and I love that coloration. She might kind of be a patternless bluish green Hey, little creature. Oh, God. You're not very happy in there right now, are you? Okay, I have my sweet little gecko right here in this box, and I'm gonna go ahead and put her in her enclosure. These are my enclosures back here. I had a video on them um, just a little while ago. You should go check it out. It's a DIY 20 gallon long fish tank that's been uh, converted. It's a vertical conversion of a fish tank. And I did that just as an experiment to see what it would be like so I could compare the costs of doing it this way versus getting like a nice exoterra. So check out that video if you wanna see how I made these. They're actually pretty nice. I like how they turned out. Let's get a better look at this super cute, super sweet new addition to my little family. Oh my gosh, she's so precious. I am precious. So, so precious. There she is. She's not very happy right now. I wouldn't be either if I was shipped in a little tiny box to a new place. Ooh. I am so sweet. Ooh. I'm just trying to get a good shot of her because she might disappear for a while after I put her into the enclosure. She might just go hide for a while and who knows when I'm when she's gonna pop back out again and finally feel comfortable. There, there's a decent shot of her right there. She's about eight months old, she's a nice size, and I just think she's gorgeous. Ooh, it's all right, okay, let's get her in the cage. Look how cute she is. What a cute lizard. Hey, 
go. There she goes. Oh, little warning bark right there. She is so cute. If you have any fun ideas for a name of a vicious, adorable little Tokay gecko, just let me know in the comments down below. You'll notice that this tank isn't very naturalistic. Um, it's a very sterile tank, and I did this on purpose. Her hiding spots and climbing spots are PVC, and then I have a piece of tile in there, and then some paper towel down on the bottom, and of course plastic plants. This is set up so I can monitor her for a month or two just to make sure that she's healthy, that she's doing well. With my crusted gecko, I made the mistake of putting him straight into a, a naturalistic setup, and then a couple months later, he um, started showing signs of parasites, and then I had to deal with the stress of having to sterilize like my naturalistic enclosure. So this is just how it's going to be. A nice sterile environment until I'm just sure that she's happy and healthy. She is so cute. I asked my little girl what um, she thought we should name this this gecko and she thought the name Flower Flower was a really good name. So what do you guys think? Is Flower Flower a good name for this Tokay gecko? I have a few days to wait now and then I have gecko number two coming, which my husband's absolutely thrilled about. <laughs> hey guys, it's another day. It's a couple days later from when I filmed last and I got another box in the mail. I couldn't like film getting it and opening it just because I was in a little bit of a hurry. You know, I was juggling getting off from work and in the toddler and just doing everything. I went ahead and I got the package. I got the new Toke Gecko. This is number two. This is going to be my big beautiful mail. Here's the box. I already opened it just so I could peek inside and make sure that the little guy, you know, that he was okay. And he is, he's just, he's totally fine. He's very fine. Well, I'm gonna put him into the enclosure and try to film it and hopefully he doesn't bite my fingers off. I have no doubt that he could bite my fingers off. This enclosure right here is going to be his home for the next couple of months just while I observe him and I be extra super duper careful and safe about this. He came in uh, a cloth bag. Let's open it up and just see how he's doing. There we go, I can kind of see him in there. He's not too happy. Oh, he just barked at me. All right, little guy, just relax. I'm gonna set him down, kind of in the corner right there. Um, oh gosh, how do I do this? I'm gonna put the, whoa! Oh, that scared me. I'm gonna kind of tilt the bag onto its side here so he has a clear opening on to get out. Come on. fingers off? Oh, yes, please. Probably. Can I have my bag? Can I take it? No. Can I, can I have this? Come on, dude. Come on. Mine. All right, I'm just gonna leave you right there. <laughs> I guess I can kind of latch the door closed with that cloth right there. So, you know, I'm just gonna let him hang on to it. Welcome to your new place. He's beautiful. I'm just gonna let him relax for a while and half leave the bag on his own. He's my pretty boy. I'm just checking to make sure like his little toes aren't caught in the bag and that's why he's not moving. Yeah, I don't think he's stuck at all. I think he just doesn't want to move. All right, I'll leave you alone. Have your bag. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to stay tuned and I'll have some more updates on these guys in the future. See you next time. Actually, before I go, I have a funny story. So Tokays are pretty vocal geckos, but I didn't know just how much. These tanks were set up really close to where I sleep, and a few weeks after getting my mail, uh, he got comfortable and he proved just how loud he could be. Snooze, Spidey snooze. All right, I'm up. Okay, Bitey, no more calls, please. Thank you, I'm up. You're a good alarm clock, though.